All right, so I just wanted to show you um, how we can derive the work expression for a spring by integrating the Hooke's law. So work equals the integral of f dx from x final to x initial we. And so this is the integral of x final x initial of negative kx dx pull the constant out Uh, negative k. What's going on here? Negative k integral x final, x initial, x dx. And the integral of x is x squared over 2. So this becomes negative k times uh, x squared over 2 from x final to x initial, which becomes negative k x final squared over 2 minus x initial squared over 2, which becomes, uh, distribute the negative, becomes, well, I'll pull out the half, so 1 half k, distribute the negative, x initial squared minus x final squared. So the negative switches the final and the initial, so we write the initial first, and we get this right here. So that's uh, the expression for work due to a spring, and as you can see, um, whenever uh, a spring force acts on something, it does negative work to it. it. It slows down, sorry, it slows it down or it decreases its kinetic energy. Where does that energy go? Uh, next chapter we'll discuss, it turns into spring potential energy. Alright, and finally power. So, if you want to know how fast you're doing work on something, then there's this little uh, concept called power. It is the rate at which work is done, the rate of change of work with respect to time. That is, simply put, a derivative, uh, dw dt, uh, change in work over change in time. And if the work is constant because of a constant force, then it's just work divided by time, or force times displacement divided by time. And if you have uh, constant force, then uh, this this change in position or the change in time will be a, a straight line slope which will be essentially velocity. Change with uh, position with respect to time is velocity. And this is for a constant force. Um, if you have a work versus time graph then power is the slope of this graph and the unit of power is the watt. Um, probably could have fit this onto the last video, but I didn't know how long this would take. So that's that's really it for chapter seven. Um, I'm going to do a few sample problems for you, and that'll be it. All right. Let me know if you have any questions on any of this stuff.